The internet can be so much fun. Last week's Art Tip Tuesday, I taught you how to draw an eye in less than three minutes. Well, Mrs. Knapp's art class from another state found the video on YouTube. They enjoyed it and they have a special request for me to show you how to draw the other facial features this week. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. My name is Sarah Albert of the Dwelling Place Art Studio and I am here with a special episode just for Mrs. Knapp's art class. The first facial feature we're going to talk about is how to draw a nose. So we're going to start by drawing a dish-like shape, not a bowl, but a dish, and then we're going to put handlebars on either side of that. So we're going to curve around to the left, curve around to the right, and then we're going to do a letter C that curves around that left nostril, and then a backwards letter C that curves around the right. You can decide which side you want the light to be coming from. So if my light's coming from this direction, I'll go ahead and show a little bit of shadow over here to the left, and then it's just a matter of putting in some shadows. So I'm going to fill in the nostrils, do a little bit of shading on the outside of the nostrils and a little bit of shading up the side of the nose and then just a touch underneath the nose and then all I have to do is just take my ring finger and do a little bit of blending. You'll see with the facial features a lot of times less is more. So there you have a nose. Next, let's talk about how to draw a mouth. So we're going to start with the upper lip. There's a little V that kind of makes up that midpoint of the upper lip. I'm going to curve that line out to the left and out to the right. Right underneath that line, I'm going to just put a small little curve, then bring that out to the left and then to the right. Leave a little bit more of a gap, and then we have the bottom part of the lip. So just kind of another dish kind of shape, and then that's going to curve to the right and then to the left. Now the upper lip is almost always in some shadow because of the nose, so I'm just going to lay in a little bit of pencil. A lot of times on the bottom lip you'll see some curved lines, so I can just kind of curve a little bit to the right and to the left, and then just a little bit of shading, blend that together. Now, if the mouth is open, we're going to go ahead and show how to do some teeth. So again, we're going to start with the upper lip, the little V in the upper lip, curve out to the left, out to the right, bottom lip has a little bit of a curve, and then that goes out to the left and to the right. Now you want to leave some space, since the mouth is open, we can see some teeth. So we'll have a little bit of the dish-like shape, and then that's going to curve to the left and right. Another dish shape under that, curve that out to the left and out to the right. Now when you draw the teeth, you want to make sure they don't look like jack-o'-lantern teeth. So in order to do that, we're going to start by just laying in where the gums go. So right here at this midpoint, I'm going to put a little triangle that kind of curves down to indicate where that first gum is going to go between the front two teeth. Then we're going to have another triangle to the right, and another one, and another one. You want your triangles to get a little bit close together as you go outwards. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. So we're going to indicate where those teeth are going to go without actually drawing each individual tooth. So there's the gum line. So now I can just do a little bit of a suggestion as to where the bottom of those teeth go with a very light line in between. Like I'm barely touching the paper at all. Again, less is more. You just want to give a little indication where the teeth are. Sometimes you'll see a little bit of the bottom teeth on the bottom so you can go through and put in a few of those just depending on the person or the picture that you're looking at. Now we almost always have some shadow over here to the left and the right. Upper lip is going to have some shadow. Bottom lip might have a few of those curved lines 
and then you can go through and do some blending. A lot of times too, you'll see that little bit right underneath the chin there, that little curve. And maybe there's even a little bit of a smile line. And there you have it. There are some of the other facial features. Last week we talked about how to draw the eye. So now you can draw the nose. You could draw lips or mouths that are closed and lips or mouth that are opened with the teeth. I hope you enjoyed this episode.